I'm uh, Michael Jones. I'm a sophomore geological engineering student from Madison, Mississippi. Uh, my brother went here. My brother is an alum. He did uh, sports medicine, exercise science kind of thing. So I'd been up here a lot when I was a kid. I really liked it then. I remember um, riding my scooters right around there in the circle with all the other little kids, throwing the football around. Uh, and just, it was, I knew it. It was comfortable already. It was something I was familiar with. Coming out of high school, my senior year, I think I went, I came here for uh, a tour and then I went to Mississippi University for Women. I was actually thinking about doing culinary school and um, neither schools at the time gave me the scholarship I wanted so I was just kind of figured go to community college, go for free, since I really didn't know what I was going to do. So I took 19 hours, which yeah, it's kind of a lot, but you know, for community college, I'd say that's about even. But. Uh, Took 19 hours both of my first semesters, and then halfway through it, I realized, hey, I can get 48 hours and get my scholarship and get out of here. So um, that's kind of how it kind of fell on my lap. The recruiter who came to Holmes, Jason, helped me out a ton when it came to that. He's the one who let me know about all the scholarships and stuff. So um, <clears throat> both of them require at least 48 hours in a community college. The um, Phi Theta Kappa honors required a 3.5 GPA and the academic excellence required a 3.0. Some more advice for community college people is look, look for those recruiters. Uh, they're all really nice guys. Um, and you know, develop a relationship with those guys too. They, they help a lot when it comes to like getting a transcript out and uh, figuring out what you're gonna do for just like living arrangements or financial aid and stuff. They're all really smart, knowledgeable guys. I think the first class I showed up to was uh, GIS. Uh, Geographical Information Systems. It's a software class that uh, Dr. Zakos teaches. Uh, probably my favorite class that I've taken here so far just because it was, you know, software is always really fun to use as opposed to just like, you know, physics or math or whatever. You really feel like you get a good hands-on ex you know, experience with it, but um, it's basically kind of map making, but really smart maps that have a lot of depth to them. Like, uh, uh, for, for the class, our final assignment was to make our own um, set of maps that present uh, like a, a goal and for mine uh, since I'm wanting, wanting to get into geothermal energy in the in the future I mapped out future geothermal wells that I think would be suitable so it's basically like um, you lay over like a temperature gradient of an area and then over that you overlay um, sites that currently have geothermal uh, wells in place and you pretty much just say okay I think one would be good here good here and good here so, I don't know it, it was really interesting I think it actually helped me out it's uh, you can geothermal energy um, basically what you can do is you uh, harness the heat from the earth uh, what with what uh, my career path is uh, aiming towards hopefully and um, <clears throat> how it works is you, you uh, pump water uh, underground to where uh, there's a hot spot just hot temperatures and the, um, the water evaporates into steam, and steam, you collect the steam back up on the surface and it turns turbines, or uh, I, there's several ways of doing it, but the turbines is the one that I'm somewhat familiar with and produces energy. You, you, there's a lot of it out in California and Nevada, so I'm hoping that it'll, it'll be developing because it's kind of what I want to do. But if not, I have a lot of fallbacks with the whole geological engineering thing. There's a lot I can do with this. Yeah, in high school, it was always kind of like, wasn't the, the hippie green guy, but it was always something that, it, you know, that interests me, um, was was doing something in alternative fuel or uh, something for the environment. My, my dad actually helped persuade me in that. He's a, he's an engineer too, and he's a, he's the office green guy. He's, he's the one who goes and makes sure everything that that's being built is energy efficient and uh, good to the environment, so he kind of inspired me to do that.